It was just days ago when the Christchurch mosque shootings broke the hearts of millions around the world. A friend of mine, I was speaking to him yesterday, uh, he lost two of his close friends um, in the attack. Um, so it's very close to home. Today, thousands of Australians came together to remember the lives lost and stand in solidarity with grief-stricken Muslims. With hearts heavy in hand, Melbourne's Muslim community leaders recited prayers for the dead. <laughs> While Melbourne's New Zealand community danced the dance of warriors. Some lay flowers in tribute, while others turned wiped tears into a call to action. Now we are at a crossroads, as I said, and we have a decision to make. How and what sort of society do we want, and what sort of society do we want to nurture and enable to grow? It's hard to imagine what the Muslim communities in Australia and New Zealand are going through in response to this horrific event. That's why vigil goers are making sure they're showing their solidarity and support to the community. All the Muslims I know are just such good people, good family people, very kind. Thousands from different communities, faiths and all walks of life stood by each other to combat hatred. The mosque is really a centre for the community. It has played such a pivotal role and to think that it could be violated in that way and a safe sanctuary where it's meant to be can be violated in that horrific way is really, really, really traumatic. There was a feeling of hope in the atmosphere. Everyone's going to be affected. When any one group is targeted and attacked, everyone's going to be, because we're all connected, all is one. Like The message was clear. It was time to push forward to combat Islamophobia. Zana Shamas, Melbourne, Australia.